Today on the workbench, we have an Hitachi TH620 made in Japan in 1964. I was told the volume was stuck at 11. Let's see if we can get it fixed and save another bit of history. Looks pretty clean. Let's give it some power. That's pretty annoying. So obviously we're going to need to change out the caps and uh, then see what else we discover. So these things used to be fixable and every repair shop in the country would subscribe to either Sam's Photo Fact or Beatman's to get uh, information. And I have the Sam's Photo Fact from April 1966 and in this we have the Itachi TH620. Let's see what we got. There it is. And over here, exactly the electrolytic capacitors that are needed. Looks like we need a 30, a 10, and a 5. And then we have the Slotted nut over here, which is always a little bit of a challenge. This should come out. And here we have it. Looks pretty good. There he is. Well, he doesn't look too good either. Now, electrolytic capacitors are uh, polarized, so you got to make sure you put the negative where the negative belongs and the positive where the positive belongs. It's a great to keep track before you pull the old one out. One down. Number two is over here. And we may have a wire here that we are trying to avoid. It's a little easier.
it's not just the electrolytic capacitors that are lost a lot of their value over the last 60 years. The speaker has two. The magnet that this is powered by is not the same magnet that came out of the factory in 1965. And these paper has gotten a lot more brittle. There are super modern equivalents, super thin, and actually perfectly fits the case. Look at that. We can just put that one in. It's going to sound a whole lot better. So let's do that next. Easy. What do you think? Gonna work? Let's power it up. Okay, now all we gotta do is put it back together again. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe. I'll be making more. And if you see anything I missed, again, please leave a comment. I'm here to learn. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.